Bandwidth for this episode of the MedicCast brought to you by the Turley Backboard Pad. Except no imitators, check out the Turley Backboard Pad for yourself over at their website, T-U-R-L-E-Y BackboardPad.com. That's right, T-U-R-L-E-Y BackboardPad.com. The Turley Backboard Pad. Except no imitators. Hi, this is Jamie Davis, the pod medic, with another episode of our short MedicCast TV weekly commentary. We've been uh, kicking off a new round of episodes. Of course, we took a little bit of a hiatus because of all the information and content we shot down at EMS Expo back in October. But we're back now to kick off another round of episodes here of the MedicCast TV weekly commentary. And uh, one of the things I wanted to do occasionally was show off some interesting and unique EMS products, especially those kinds of products that are actually in the price range range of an individual EMS service provider or small organizations. And uh, I got an opportunity to uh, chat on the phone with a guy by the name of Mike Orlando, who is the uh, president and CEO of a company, I'm going to read it here off his card, of Rapid Response Solutions. And he actually is a paramedic, came up with an in uh, innovative way to keep up with CPR management in the field. Uh, we have a lot of different tools we've seen out there. We have uh, blinky LED lights that just sit on the edge of a monitor. Uh, we've had, uh, of course, the rescue pod device and other devices like that. But what about a device that is just easy for anyone to use to manage a CPR? Or perhaps if you're a CPR instructor, to help you with teaching students how to do CPR properly and at the proper rate. So he came up with this really neat device called the um, Rhythm of Life CPR Timer. Uh, CPR Timer com is the link for that and uh, if you can see it's just a neat little device I'm gonna get it here so there's no glare on the screen uh, it's a plastic device but very solid feeling um, takes batteries in the back uh, AA batteries I believe um, but you go ahead and uh, it has basically a CPR timer that you can use you hold the button down on the top to uh, turn it on and you see the LED lights light up. You can select for uh, pediatric adult or infant patients, one or two rescuers, CPR, breathing only or compressions only, mask or patients with an advanced airway. So um, there's a lot of things here. Down at the bottom, one of the things I like is that it provides you with a visual cue for when to ventilate and for your compressions. It also has an audio cue that you listen to and uh, it will take care of that for you. So, for instance, I mean, it's just a touch screen. These aren't buttons. You just kind of tap the screen to change things. You can't change it in the middle. You have to double tap to make a change, which is good, so that you can't accidentally just brush against it and make a change. Um, but let me just go ahead and start it here. Can you hear that? So, the light's blinking, and uh, it's counting your compressions. It's doing regular CPR. And as we get to 30, it'll actually go ahead and provide for two ventilations because this is not a, an intubated patient. It's a bag mask patient. There's a ventilation. Ventilation two. And we're back to CPR. So it chimes a tone to say, hey, switch, you're doing ventilations. This is for one rescuer. So it's a warning you to get ready to jump off the chest and go ahead and get on the ventilations. And then another chime to remind you to get back to the chest compressions. Let's say another person shows up. Okay, we're ventilating. And we have a second rescuer there now. I've just activated the second rescuer. And um, you'll see that nothing really changes from the standpoint of the counting. But if we were in a pediatric patient, this would change. We'd actually move to 15 to 2 under the CPR guidelines. So I'm going to go ahead and stop that. Um, really a neat tool, and uh, as, you, as I said, you can double tap when you get an advanced airway in place so that it will provide continuous compressions at 100 beats per minute. Um, I think this is retailing for right around $99. Not a bad price point, and I really am excited to uh, have an opportunity to get my hands on this. Mike, thanks for sending this in to me. Um, you know, this is, uh, this is an endorsement based on my impressions of the product. The price range is right. Uh, I think the tool is an excellent tool. It's durable. It can be wiped off easily if it gets soiled in the field. It, it's small enough to not add a lot of weight. You could keep this in your pocket of your gear or go ahead and throw it into uh, your airway bag so that anytime you're doing uh, major uh, you know, CPR or ventilatory management, you'll have this handy. Uh, really an excellent tool. It's got a volume control on it. You can turn it up or down or even silence it and go off visual cues alone. 
Um, but imagine not having to worry about over-ventilating patients anymore if you're doing a continuous ventilations. You're going to have a separate audio and visual cue for your person handling the bag to go ahead and run off of when they're bagging patients so we won't over-ventilate. Great tool and uh, keeping CPR compressions right in the target mark for our patient care. Really excited about this. So you might want to check it out. Again, CPRtimer.com will take you to the site and uh, I would urge you to check it out. It might be something to be the perfect addition to either your personal or your services EMS bag. You can find more information, of course, other episodes of the MedicCast TV weekly commentary and other video episodes of the full MedicCast weekly show over at MedicCast.tv. And if you'd like to get back in touch with me with comments or suggestions for future episodes, you can reach me over at podmedic at mac.com or just leave a comment on any of the episode links over on the website. I'm Jimmy Davis, the PodMedic. Be back soon. In the meantime, don't forget, scene safety, BSI.